Ham Radio 2.0. Hey guys, good afternoon. Happy Wednesday. I'm actually planning ahead, and I know this video is going to post on Wednesday. That's pretty good for me if you know me at all. Uh, my name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. Today we're going to be talking to Daniel N0REY from Bridgecom Systems. This video will also be a prequel to the YouTubers Ham Fest taking place on uh, May 23rd and May 24th, the weekend of Memorial Day, Saturday and Sunday, Memorial Day. Wow, this has been an event that was planned quickly and as a response to the cancellation of Dayton Hamvention. We're not associated with Hamvention, but we really support those guys because they put on an awesome Ham Fest every year. And we're looking forward to 2021 to getting together with all the YouTubers bunch in Xenia, Ohio. But until that, we're going to do a YouTubers Ham Fest interviewing a dozen or more different vendors between Saturday, May 23rd and Sunday, May 24th. One of those is going to be Bridgecom Systems. This is a prequel to that event. I hope you enjoy it. 73, put your comments below. <laughs> Um, okay, it's N zero R E Y, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm making sure there. Okay, I got Daniel N zero R E Y today from Bridgecom Systems, way the heck up north in Kansas City, <laughs> not that far from yeah. me, really. So uh, we're going to talk about some uh, unique offerings that Bridgecom offers today to the DMR community and the amateur radio community as a whole. Daniel, thanks for joining us. Appreciate the the time today. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll just let you have it. You know, you can tell us about, uh, I want to talk about Bridgecom University, obviously, and people may or may not know what that is, but um, also you, the repeater offerings that you offer and, and just what, what other kind of good stuff y'all got going on up there. So please. Sure thing. Well, yeah, thanks, Jason, for, for having me on. Really appreciate it. Um, really love talking to you and, and all the other guys in the, in the amateur radio community. Um, but yeah, um, so, I mean, some of the, uh, you know, things we're kind of, bringing to really help the, uh, the amateur radio community and, and just, uh, is we're really going into the, the DMR, um, niche of amateur radio and really trying, you know, it's, uh, it's, a lot of people think it's kind of a more confusing, complicated niche. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, a sub in, in amateur radio, you know, you HF and you've got your analog, you know, UHF and VHF stuff. And so we've really tried to, um, kind of wash away all that confusion and the mist kind mm -hmm. of surrounding it. Mm -hmm. um, by creating uh, Bridgecom University, which is our basically an entire catalog of just like a ton of tutorial videos, you know, showing you everything from getting a DMR ID, um, you know, getting getting um, like a code plug built, programming uh, one of our radios, like an Anytone, you know, 878 or 578. Um, we also offer some tools, like we have a code plug bank that we've assembled from, you know, uh, code plugs that our, our users and our customers have actually submitted. It's all just totally crowdsourced. Okay. Um, and, you know, they, they keep it up to date. And it's not totally complete, but it has a lot of states in it, a lot of uh, international places as well. Okay. Um, but, yeah, and we, you know, basically, like, any kind of settings in our radio, you know, all the products we sell, we've gone through, and, like, we have tutorials for basically how to tweak any, you know, anything and everything in terms of uh, features and, and settings and all that kind of stuff. Um, so there's no you know, confusion when you buy a radio. Like I know, you know, a lot of people, they, they'll go and buy a radio and they'll, you know, a DMR radio and they'll get it and they'll be like, okay, what do I do now? You know, like they, they get stuck, it goes all up on the shelf, they let it sit, you know, nothing happens and uh, they get frustrated, you know, and they throw it in the trash, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that when you get, you know, on DMR, you get on DMR properly, you're on the ground running, you know, there's a, a guide all the way, um, you know, from getting it out of the box, getting your ID, getting it programmed, getting on the air and making contacts. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, um, now, now you sell Bridgecom University for for a package price, but if someone buys a radio from you guys, they get it for free. Is that still accurate? That's correct. Yep. Okay. Um, if you okay. buy any of our DMR radios, you get the university included absolutely free. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, if you've bought a radio from another vendor, um, you can buy the the uh, university itself for ninety seven dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, you will get it if you buy any of our radios for free. Cool. What about the repeaters? Does that still apply there too? Or um, so not with the repeaters. Okay. Um, we're actually planning on releasing a repeater Bridgecom University here soon. Oh, cool. Um, Good. Yeah, so there's a lot of things with repeaters that people are kind of confused on as well. So mm -hmm. we're going to be releasing that fairly shortly and, uh, you know, to, to co go along with our repeaters. Awesome. So. Okay. 
All right, so tell me a little about. I I know about the repeaters, but some of the audience might might not. Um, so I know last last I knew you had uh, three. Well, it's the same repeater, I guess, but it's in three different bands. Um, so tell us a little bit about that. Be sure to mention the uh, the connections on the back for the for the accessories you can use on them. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. So we sell um, one. We're one of the only uh, manufacturers that sells you know like an off the shelf brand new. Uh, analog repeater for um, UHF 70 centimeter, two meter VHF or 220, uh, 1.25 meter. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually have a, a digital module as well that can turn that repeater into like DMR for amateur use, D-Star, mm -hmm. uh, System Fusion, um, if you if you want as well. And it can be in a mixed mode. But basically, um, you know, this is a, a great repeater solution. Um, a lot of guys, a lot of clubs, they've got a lot of old repeaters, you know, that they've mm -hmm. had up for a long time. And, uh, you know, some of them fall down just after, you know, 20, 30 years of use and stuff. And they, you know, at this point in the, the club's life, they're kind of, they don't really want to hassle with, you know, piecing together another, you know, shoddy machine. And they just kind of want that done for you, like plug and play mm -hmm. uh, solution that the whole club could kind of agree on. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where we come along. You know, uh, we have our repeaters, they're, uh, 11.95, you know, off the shelf right now, mm -hmm. and they when you get one, it comes um, completely pre-programmed and pre-tuned to um, so your specs, your frequencies, you know, um, your PL tone, all that kind of, and the power output. Um, they can go up to 50 watts transmitting power, 50 watts on uh, two meter, 40 watts on 70 centimeter, and 30 watts on 220. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, even if you buy one of our duplexes, we even tune those uh, for free for you. Okay. So that's a big hurdle for people to overcome is getting their duplexers tuned. Mm -hmm. We'll actually do that for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, on the, um, when you were talking there, you made me think of something. Um, I kind of went blank on it then. <laughs> oh, uh, an external, do, do, do your repeater, and I actually don't know the answer to this, do your repeaters have a controller inside of them, or how easy is it to interface with like an SCOM or an RCOM or something like that? Sure, yeah, absolutely. So um, it's ridiculously easy. Our repeaters actually come with an internal power supply mm -hmm. with a battery backup on it. Uh, and it comes with an internal repeater controller that will be perfectly fine for most any kind of analog only function. Mm -hmm. um, but it's super duper easy to interface with virtually any repeater controller. We have not found one we couldn't interface it with. It has a 24 pin accessory connector on the back. And we actually make uh, quite a few custom cables for a lot of your popular controllers. Okay. Um, okay. But uh, yep. Yeah. And the repeater can run on an AC or DC mm -hmm. power just fine. Um, it can even, you know, trickle charge the battery, uh, from the AC power if you want. Cool. Good. Yeah. I, I, uh, I, I do remember that the DC pole, or, yeah, the, the positive and negative DC poles in the back of the repeater that you can, uh, do the battery backup thing too. And of course that's, that's what most people want these days as well. So that's really mm -hmm. good. Okay. So tell me about some of, uh, I, I don't think I hit you with this question when we were talking on the phone earlier, but we'll see how you do. <laughs> tell me about, uh, tell me about some of the biggest hurdles. What I've noticed is that when I put up a video and, and it about a video about DMR, but even a video about just like a specific radio, I start to get questions mm -hmm. and lots of times I start to notice a theme. It's basically different people asking the same question over and over again. Um, and you know, they may word it differently, but they don't, they don't know what they're asking sometimes, but right. sometimes, but you know, you kind of notice a theme about, you know, everybody's asking how to do this or where to find this or something like that. So what, so as far as DMR goes, what would you say is one of the biggest questions or maybe a couple of the biggest questions you get from the community as a whole? So probably the single biggest question that's asked, um, is probably how do I make a code plug yeah um, that's probably the biggest one just mm -hmm. because it's a universally across all dmr um, i don't think people really understand what a code plug is yeah and it's it's really not that complicated it's mm -hmm. literally just a, a channel list is mm -hmm. basically what it is um and you can kind of we actually just we had a we had a tutorial video that was released like a year or two ago and um we found that it was a bit too complicated it was kind of made for a, a user that would you know kind of understood the terminology already so we actually just released one just recently it's the 2.0 video it's like how to build a code plug 2.0 okay. that's really made for a entry level user that doesn't know what the terminology is you know doesn't has never done this before mm -hmm. and just you know kind of explain everything and then show them how to do it right okay um so lay the groundwork as it were right but that's probably the single biggest question and it's really you know a code plug is really nothing more than just a channel list of uh dmr channels if, if for an analog radio right 
Right. Right. Yeah. I tell people it's just a computer file is all it is. In fact, yeah. I oftentimes liken it to say, you know, some people will, uh, if they're, if they've been in amateur radio for a while and they've, they're used to analog and they're just now getting the DMR, I'll ask them if they've used Chirp or RT systems. And they're like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. sure. But well, the computer file that you save on your computer, that's a code plug. That's all it is. It's just, it's just right. a file that yeah. contains information to program a radio. So mm -hmm. good. Well, cool. Um, Great. That is that is good. So we, we want to bring you guys on to the YouTubers Ham Fest, mm -hmm. uh, probably Sunday morning. And I can I can after the video ends, I can get with you about time and whatnot and uh, and just kind of give like a little 15 to 20 minutes um, chat. I mean, we can kind of talk about a few of the things that we talked about here today, but we can uh, deep dive into like one of them. You know, if you want to do like a 15 minute talk about one specific thing, we can do that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but you got now this this video will post after it'll post next week uh, before right. our ham fest. But you guys are doing something, some kind of live stream this upcoming weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. So okay. we're actually going to have uh, like an event, um, mm -hmm. sales event. You know, obviously we would have gone to Hamvention had it happened. Right. Right. Um, but because of course it was canceled, you know, pretty sad that it was actually. You know, kind of. I mean, it's kind of to be expected, but at the same right. time, it kind of hits a little hard. Right. Um, you know, just because they've never canceled it before. But, uh, but yeah, so we are actually having a live stream event um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for a couple hours each day. I believe okay. the times um, Friday the 15th is um, like 10 to 12, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. noon. And then the Saturday, same time, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. noon. And then on um, Sunday, it's going to be, I think, 12 to 2 p.m., Okay. Um, cause, uh, you know, a lot of people like doing stuff Sunday morning. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, so we're going to have a live stream then we're, for like a couple hours. It's just going to be like, we were having our, you know, ham fest booth. We're going to be answering like product questions, sales questions, all that stuff. And we're actually going to have, um, some, some order takers here in this, in the store, uh, during those times. So you can actually call in, you know, while we're doing the live stream and place an order, if you like, or ask further questions, if we can't answer them, you know, on the live stream. Gotcha. So we're going to try to create that experience, you know, as much as possible in the circumstances. Good. Good. Well, I, you know what? And there's, there's been a lot of people who have mentioned doing something similar, but, and there's a few groups actually doing it, but the, there's not as many taking advantage of the, of the opportunity as, as what, uh, what could be. So I think that's great that y'all are doing that. Cool. So those, uh, those live streams will be available for replay on your YouTube channel after that. Is that correct? Yep. Um, okay. they will be, they'll be available for replay and the live stream this time is only going to be on YouTube. Okay. Okay. So okay. Just go to our YouTube channel, Bridgecom Systems, and uh, it should be live on there. Or you can, if you're on our list or anything like that, we're going to be sending out lots of broadcasts with links and stuff like that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I've mm -hmm. been, I, I've been on your email list for a long time, so I get those emails from you, and, and I saw that you were doing that. I was like, oh, that might be something I have to tune in into that. Uh, at, least, at least on Friday, if not Saturday. Saturday, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to participate in the Hamvention QSO party on Saturday. So we'll right. see how far that goes, <laughs> but it ought to be fun, but, uh, cool. Well, Hey man, I thanks for your time today. Uh, this is good information. I know that, uh, I was able to look and, and I know you guys have put a lot of more content and more effort into Bridgecom university since Hamvention last year, uh, mm -hmm. when I was talking to you about it and, uh, Chuck and, and Ron were telling me about all the stuff that was in there. And I'm like, my goodness, that, I mean, I know you guys have been working tirelessly on that for a long time and been putting a lot of different stuff and you know when new radios come out like the 878 plus with the bluetooth and now the mobile radio is out um it's really good that 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 you're keeping up with all those updates and and telling people how to do is 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 the bridgecom university is it is it centered around any tone or is it kind of like is there some for any tone and some just for dmr in general yeah, so it's kind of a mix of both. I mean, okay. it's most of the videos are for any tone radios, just because that's what we sell. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the uh, the handheld one is approaching like a hundred videos right now. Okay. And the uh, the mobile one's approaching like twenty videos, just because we haven't had it as long. Right. It had, yeah, um, it hadn't been out as long, but okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, there's a lot of videos in there that will you know apply um, on just with DMR in general, like you know more stuff like how to build a code plug or, mm -hmm. or you know how to get an ID. Like that's going to be pretty universal. Yeah. Um, regardless of what you have. Yeah. Uh, and just other things in there, you know, like some explanationary videos and you know other like, you know how to use a code plug or how to use this. Like some guides in there on DMR that other uh, authors have written, mm -hmm. and you know just let us distribute to mm -hmm. help the community. Um, Good. But yeah, so that's available. Uh, yeah, one other thing we have, you know, like 
a lot of people that we found is, uh, you know, we have the university, we have the resources, but a lot of guys we found is that they don't actually, you know, it can be a bit of, of effort you have to put into, you know, learning DMR and learning the material. And a lot of guys we found don't really, they just don't want to do that. They don't want to hassle with it with at this point. They just want to get on the air, mm-hmm. um, you know, just make contacts, you know, right out of the box uh, with DMR, you know, plug and play as it were. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. we actually have a, a plug and play package yeah. that we offer and which is uh, right now it's a, it's a radio, a DMR radio and a hotspot, a DMR hotspot. Um, you know, we typically recommend the Anytone 878 Plus with our dual band DV Mega hotspot at this point. And uh, you can get that package and all you literally have to do is give us your amateur radio call sign and your DMR ID and buy the package. It's uh, right now it's five ninety two ninety nine, which you may think is a bit expensive, but for all the hassle that you save, mm-hmm. um, it's well worth it. Um, mm-hmm. If you've ever had to, you know, try to figure something out before mm-hmm. and we'll literally send you the box, you pull it out and within 10 minutes, or five minutes even you'll be on the air we're actually about to release a video here soon of like no cuts real time one of our guys in the shop like he just bought one uh pulling it out plugging it in and he's you know on the air in, in just minutes so so do you that, <clears throat> i assume that you program the the hotspot for the customer's uh home network then wi-fi or whatever um yep so we don't we used to do that uh, okay. we don't anymore we just send a uh a cat5 uh, ethernet cable with it okay and so you do have to have a router okay uh, to plug it into we were just we used to do that but we found that we were having a lot of trouble with false credentials and just uh, uh yeah people sending us just wi-fi can be a bit buggy but you actually will get a uh, there's a video that comes along with it's how to set up your own wi-fi and it's super duper easy like oh, okay bulletproof way to set up your own wi-fi once you're there and you can actually troubleshoot it because we just can't troubleshoot your own wi-fi from the shop right so this right. is an ultra easy way you just <clears throat> plug it into your router set it up and you're on the air and then you can set up your Wi-Fi in just minutes afterwards if you okay. like. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Perfect. All right, man. Hey, that's really fun. Uh, I know that DMR is a, you know, DMR has been a hot topic for a while now and I know that it can be intimidating to some people. I still get questions that are like, hey, man, I just got, I just, just got my license or just got into DMR and, you know, there's still, after five years of making videos, I'm still getting... Right. Uh, that same, those same questions over and over again, and that's okay with me. I don't mind that at all. So I, I'm glad to see that uh, that there's resources out there for people to go to, for um, you know, just education purposes and getting on the air. And then mm-hmm. once they once they figure it out, I think you're right. I think, you know, they they realize that oh well, yeah, there's a couple extra steps, but it's actually not as daunting as what it seems like it it can be. <laughs> So yeah, that's absolutely. all good. And you know, like if, if you have any questions or, you know, any of your, your viewers have any questions, I mean, like literally like all of our videos are centered around, like, does this question just get asked a bunch and then we'll just right. make a video for it. Right. You know? Yeah. Totally. Um, because we'd rather, you know, it's, it's more helpful to the, to the user, you know, and more helpful to us to just have a video. They can watch it whenever they want. Right. Um, right. And you know, then we don't have to answer it over and over again. And it's, yeah. it's all in a nice, highly produced way. Right. Totally. Um, yep. Well, that's the whole reason I'm on YouTube. <laughs> because, exactly. Because, because the same, yeah, same question over and over again, which I don't mind questions, but I'm like, you know, here's, here's, I, rather than me telling you over the phone, here's a video on how you can actually watch me do it. So I think it, I think it helps people a lot. So, absolutely. Okay, man. Well, hey, thanks for your time today. Um, I will, uh, I'll put a wrap on this and I'll send you a link to it when it's done. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I will get with you over email. And we'll uh, we'll nail down a time to get you guys to come on to the live stream. Uh, the setup you're using right now should probably be fine, and we're going to use, Zoom, or at least I'm going to use Zoom that day. So it'll be real similar, except it'll be live streamed on the YouTube channel at the time. And then I'll have some moderators in there that are answering questions while you and I are talking, and it should be all good. And we can share your the uh, the link to to your website and your Bridgecom University and and all your other stuff too that day as well. So that'll be great. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Jason. Thanks all for right. having me on. Thanks a lot, Daniel. You have a good afternoon. You too.